I feel like it really depends on a what you're pitching and b if we have a pre-existing relationship already uh-huh. because some people will be sliding in the dms asking to place their client and i i really i really don't mean to be this person but i am very quick to just delete it if it hit, if it hits my dms like it's not like you're asking me if you can send me an email like that's cool if people ask me if they can send me an email i'll give you my email but don't send me a a huge text of pitch and expect me to respond. That's a huge, that's a huge no, no. Like don't, don't do that. My perfect pitch is something that is sent directly to my email, something that is spelling my name correctly Okay. because you don't understand how many times I get emails saying to Chandra, Chandra, like Shonda with an S H A U at like the different variations of my name that just don't even freaking exist. <laughs> So that's one. If you get my name wrong, I'm just, I'm not going to. The only thing I will accept is if you forget the apostrophe in my name, because I go by either Shonda or Deshonda. So that's okay. But don't completely botch it. I also think that if you don't have any type of visuals or any type of attachment or offering any type of like something to go with the pitch, then there's really no sense in you sending it to me. Because you can say all these great things about your client, whether they're a reality star, or they build an app, or they're a designer. But if you don't have any pictures or any social media links or any media kits, I don't know what you're talking about. So I, I can't say whether or not I'm interested. I also think that they should be clear and concise. Give me the who, what, when, where, why, and how. I'm not saying it has to be two sentences, but also don't make it two pages. If I have to do more than two of these, to read the entire pitch, then just just don't. Think about it from like you're reading a newspaper perspective. It takes like seven seconds to grab the average person's attention. If your lead in sentence when sending us pitches is not getting straight to the point, then you, you've lost us. Because as it was said before, we get like 50 pitches a day on average. On a slow day, <laughs> we get about 50 pitches a day. Hey girl, that's a real, real slow day. Yeah. That's a very slow day getting 50 pitches a day. So you have to find a way to make your client and you stand out because it's at the end of the day, pitching, because I used to be a publicist, pitching is, is ultimately selling. You get mm-hmm. placements, your publicist keeps paying you. So if you're not selling your client in the way that they should be put up, then I'm not going to buy into your story. A nice succinct headline, something catchy and cute is always good for me. Something like something funny, something witty, something that makes you stand out because I, I don't care about stuff that I don't care about. Mm-hmm. And also please name specifically, if you know that the person that you're pitching to writes for more than one place, please name specifically the place that you are pitching to yes. because there are writers, including all of us who are here that write for two, three, four, five places at a time. But if you say, oh, my client would be great for you to write about, okay, I'm sure they would, but w- w- which one? Like, do you want a Hello Beautiful? Do you want Exo Nicole? Do you want a Revolt? Because I'm gonna automatically think what this might go towards. And if it doesn't work, I'm gonna tell you no. So you gotta be specific about your pitch, be specific about your want. If you want it to be an IGTV live, if you want it to be included in a listicle, if you want it to be an interview, if you want a, somebody to write an op-ed on it, be specific about your ask. Mm-hmm. And I think, I think Injera said it before, you have to be really intentional with what you're asking, because if you don't, then things are going to get lost and things are going to be confused. Mm-hmm.